With Salesforce LLM Open Connector, you can build custom agent force actions using a third party's models API without writing a single line of code. So for this, first pick a provider's whose API specs match the LLM Open Connector specs. Now you can really check this by comparing the provider API docs with the LLM Open Connector specs. Now, NVIDIA is one such provider. It works with the LLM Open Connector spec that we have. So here, I want to demonstrate how you can build a custom action using one of the NVIDIA's API. So I'm using a model called Palmyra Med. It's specifically trained on healthcare data to answer health-related questions. Now, NVIDIA's inference manager supports this model and exposes as an API, as you can see here. And the specs of this API is matches to the LLM open connector spec. So let me show you how you can create an agent force actions out of this API without even writing a single line of code. I'm in model builder and here I can add a foundation model by clicking on that add foundation model and selecting connect to your LLM. Next we provide all the details like name of the endpoint. So we provide the name of the endpoint, the URL of the endpoint and the auth header. In this case, it will be authorization. And the auth key will be bearer, space, and the authorization key. And then optionally, you can provide the model name. And then you can set the token limit and click connect. So if the model successfully connects, you will see that you have option to now configure. So now we create a new configuration here by using the temperature settings. And I can test the configuration by testing with a sample prompt. So here, for example, I'm prompting with a simple prompt that says, how long does it take for a newborn jaundice to go away? And I click on the generate and verify that I'm able to successfully get a response from the model. So since the response is success, we save this configuration. Again, we'll have to provide the name for the configuration and we just hit create model. And now you can see that we have our configuration. Next step is to create a prompt template with this custom model so that we can create a custom action for the agent with this template. So here I'm within prompt builder and I have a prompt template. And now, as you can see, I can now change the model type from standard to custom and I have a new writer's Palmyra model available. Now, since I've already tested this, I'm just gonna save this prompt template and activate it. Now, this prompt template can be used in agent custom action. So let's now switch back to the agent builder. So I'm in the agent builder and you can see I have a topic, answer health related questions. So I'll go ahead and add the topic action. So let's add an action here and the action type will be prompt template. And let's select that answer health related question. Hit on next and we need to provide instructions for this input. So in this case, uh, we'll provide instruction for the question input. So the instruction will be, this is the question that requires. So this is the question from the user that requires a response. So now that we have the instruction, let's click on that show in conversation for the response and hit finish. And we see that the action is now added to the topic. Let's test it. So I'm gonna test with how long does it take for the newborn jaundice to go away? So now the agent is analyzing a request. It's probably making a call out to that API. And now it's gonna find out the next steps. And it's working and you can see the response here. So if you look at the planet, plan tracer, you can see that it picked up the right topic and selected the right action here. So this is how you can use a third party provider's API and bring that model capabilities as agent action directly in agent force. Something to note is if you are using a third party model, make sure to read its licensing and limitation. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.